Hello, everybody, and welcome to Mego Museum's Mint Off Card. My name is Brian, and this week we're going to give you a double shot of Mego's Wave 15, which is now trickling out there. And we're going to talk about two of my favorite astronauts in the Planet of the Apes series, Brent and Taylor. I don't think I've hid the fact that Mego Planet of the Apes is my favorite series they are producing right now. And I was terribly excited to get two characters that have never really been done well in this format, and that is Taylor and Brent. I think for this episode, I'm not only going to look at the cards, but I'm also going to compare them to the previous Topps exclusives version. Folks will remember that the Topps deal did include these characters, but in different ways. And we are now noticing Wave 15 has subtle differences, everything from head sculpts to complete outfit changes and in these cases even slightly different packaging so i thought it would be interesting to go into both of these characters so we'll start with brent and the front of the card is very similar the major difference here being that brent from tops is in his ansa astronaut uniform and brent from wave 15 is in a loincloth type outfit that the human slaves wore. There is another major difference that I will get into later in the video, and we will compare the bodies used. Uh, the Topps Brent is using the early bandless body, and the Wave 15 Brent is using a later, more modified body, and I will get into those differences. When we flip the back, we see the big variation in the card, and that is Migo has actually swapped out the photos of Brent. The Topps version has Brent in the robes, which isn't exactly his astronaut outfit, but I'm beginning to think that I'm willing to bet that in the toolkit that Migo was provided, there was a limited assortment of Brent photos, and they went with their best bet there. And of course, on the Wave 15 card back, They've swapped it to a very iconic image from Beneath the Planet of the Apes showing Brent in a loincloth. Uh, the credits are the same on both figures. Andrew Kovalt did the sculpting. Rachel Baker did the outfit. Now let's turn our attentions to Taylor. The front of the card for the Taylor's figures is almost identical. And of course, the main difference here being the Topps figure had a loincloth and the Wave 15 figure is in the ANSA jumpsuit. Uh, Taylor is not on a bandless body on either. Uh, this is due to the fact that he was paired with Zira in manufacturing, and the factory that has the female body tooling does not have a bandless body yet. Apparently that will change. We turn the back of the cards, and we have, again, two different images of Charlton Heston. We have him in his madhouse mode, and a scene from the early part of the film where he's escaping his ship crashing. Now... I'm going to address the elephant in the room because if I didn't, there would be problems. There is a spelling mistake on his uniform. Instead of saying A-N-S-A, it says A-H-S-A. -A. Uh, this was explained by Migo as the photos were so low resolution that they needed to be kind of redrawn by their artist. And you can kind of see that attempt. The artist is not a Planet of the Apes fan, apparently, because he did not know that it was A-N-S-A. I know a few folks have complained about this. Uh, personally, it doesn't really take any enjoyment out of the figure for me. I rarely display the backs of cards. And the thing that really matters to me is that the outfit on the front of the card there says the proper credentials. It says ANSA on the suit itself. That would freak me out. But thankfully, it's there. So without further ado, let's escape these card backs and see what's beneath Eh? Now here comes a montage.
Well, folks, there you have it. Brent and Taylor from the new Mego Wave 15 Planet of the Apes. So I'll give you my observations figure by figure. Brent, uh, love the head sculpt. Uh, this new process of doing heads, yeah, they're not as squishy as they used to be, but that's a great thing for overall holding the sculpt and the paint apps look better. Um, yeah, the, the rotational molding process can occasionally warp a sculpt. And whatever they're doing now, it seems like they get exactly what they're doing. And I like that a lot. Um, I like the outfit. It is not really movie accurate. But what I really enjoy is he's actually got underpants, which is a nice little touch. So I could just take this loincloth off and use the underpants to be have more of a film accurate version. And that that's well done, Migo. Um, I love his moccasins. And I have to say that the bandless body here is making me a believer. Uh, I was a little on the fence about it, and now seeing that they've shored up a couple things, he's a little taller than the original bandless bodies, which was a, a huge issue that I'm glad they addressed so quickly. Uh, one word of caution on them, they're very tight. They're very tight when you get them, so be gentle and let it move around. Uh, I've seen some folks have had the odd break, and uh, I haven't experienced that. I don't want to. But I have noticed that when you first get them out, they're a bit tight. And, I, you know, I'd rather have it uh, too tight than too loose. But I think with a little bit of elbow grease and just kind of gently moving the stuff around, it becomes much easier to work with. And uh, I really like the way it holds a pose. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a convert. It, it's grown on me considerably. Having said that, uh, I want to move on to the second figure, which is Taylor. Um absolutely love this figure. It is the most mego y of Wave 15, and even though I have not held, you know, some of the hammer characters I want, or, you know, a couple of the heroes I bought, this is probably going to be my favorite. Uh, I like everything about him. The outfit simplicity is great. I love what they did to simulate zippers and pouches. It, it, it's just ideal. And, of course, the outfit comes off very easily, which is great because I'm going to buy a couple tailors and I'm going to make, you know, astronaut Burden and Burke and probably Brent. Uh, I, I really uh, I love the astronaut uniforms in the Planet of the Apes movie. It's a weird little obsession I have with the whole thing. And, and yeah, I, I, you know, I always like to encourage people to buy what they like and be their own judge. But I'm gushing about this one. And I really want it to be successful because... Migo has stepped up uh, and made four Planet of the Apes characters in this wave. And they're all characters, more or less, that I've always wanted. Um, and, and, you know, even Zira in her civilian clothes is hilarious. And I hope there's a Cornelius coming in a suit. I really hope people support it and vote with their dollar. Hopefully that happens uh, because these are really nice toys. And then we get more apes. But even if we don't, um, I can't tell you how content I am with what we've gotten so far. I really love the line, and uh, these are great. These are absolutely a step in the right direction, and I love the growing upward tilt in quality we're seeing. But, as always, you be the judge, and uh, I would love to know your comments and feedback. There's several places you can get a hold of me. Uh, you can get me at the Migo Museum forums, you can get me at Migo Mania, our Facebook group that has uh, 8,000 other Amigo collectors in it. So give me your honest feedback. Tell me what you think. Thanks, as always, for watching. If you are new to this, I hope you'll consider hitting like and subscribe. And I do want to mention that we have a weekly Migo newsletter we put out. And it has exclusive information, not only from Migo, but from Figures Toy Company, White Elephant Toys. We have the latest NECA updates. And we feature the world of customs, knockoffs, and vintage toys as well, of course. So I put a link to that in the description. You can check out Amigo Museum newsletter. That's it for this time, folks. Be well. Talk toys, not others. And buy what you like. Cheers.